What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Carl's Mystery Tackle Box. Nick and Brandon here from NB Edits and today Nick and I are going to be doing a little bit of some fall fishing for you guys. The goal for today is that we're going to be hitting the water showing you guys some tips and techniques that you guys can be doing in the late fall season going for some panfish and bass and also preparing for the ice fishing season. Yep, so it's time to hit the water. Let's go rip some lip. All right, everyone. Well, we just got out onto the water. So Nick is going to be patrolling us around here today. Nick's got his Hummingbird Helix 5, which has down imaging and it has side imaging, which is going to be really helpful for us to find these fish today. Not top of the line, but it's what we have for electronics for today. We are just out here in the John boat and we're going to be start looking for some structure. That's going to be the main thing we're looking for. There's steep drop offs, deep pockets that hold really good structure. Now there's giant boulders in this lake, there's rock piles, there's down trees, any sort of logs, cribs, anything that we can find in these deeper areas is where we're going to be finding these panfish and bass. So we're going to start looking around, see what we can find, come up on a few areas. We're going to rig up with a few different mystery tackle box baits and see if we can start ripping some lips. So I've been trolling around so far under the lake, about five minutes, just came across my first piece of deep structure. Now it's only in about 13 feet of water, which isn't crazy deep. But from the shoreline, that is a considerable drop off. This lake is about 60 feet deep. Um, what we found is really looking like a crib, honestly, or it's really big boulders. Either way, whatever it is, it's definitely a high key area that we're going to be wanting to fish. It's a good starter spot for us onto the lake today. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to mark it on my hummingbird. We're going to loop around. We're going to pick five mystery tackle box baits from our pan fishing pro box for the month of November and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch these fish, see if there's anything down there. Alrighty, so I've gone through and I've picked five different baits out of our mystery tackle box that I think are gonna work super well for us today. The first one is the Big T Slasher Jig Head. Now obviously we're gonna need a plastic to top that with. It's a black jig with a green eye and we've got a Lime Punch green color minnow presentation, plastic. This is from Weston Baits. This is the Mega Tees. That's gonna work really, really well. And then we've got some grub style plastics. These are red with a little speckle color to them. These are from Eagle One. Those also could do pretty dirty for us today. Now, if we wanna be vertical jigging these fish, we've got two other options from Lunker Hunt. This one's called the Magic Bean. There's about 40, 50, 60 feet deep pockets in this lake. We've got the Lunker Hunt Straight Up Junior. That also could do dirty for us today. So we've got a few different baits in here that could work really, really well for us. We can be casting, we can be vertical jigging. We've got a little bit more subtle presentation with the grub style, and we've got an aggressive style bait here that we're gonna be trying as well. So we're gonna start with this, see how it does. We're gonna go roll over that crib, see if we can get hooked up. There we go. First one off of there. Is that a bass or is that a crappie? That's a crappie. There we go. First one of the day, boys. Just a little guy. Not a monster, but hey, that's a good way to start. Pulled one right off of that structure. Let's go ahead and get him out of here. There we go. Look at that, guys. That's an excellent way to start the day. Just a little one, but you got a good piece of it. A little paper lip. One last look at him before we toss him back. See you later, little buddy. Thanks for stopping by. We've got a few other places that we want to get to as well. So we're going to toss it in a couple more times here, see if we can pull a few more off. Otherwise, we're going to head over. We saw some more structure behind us here, so we might try that one, that spot as well. So let's go at it, see what we can get. So we just got done with that first spot, pulled about three crappies off of it, all around that 10 inch range. Not crazy big, but definitely a good spot that we can come back to when we get to ice fishing, which is right around the corner, guys. So now what I'm doing, I'm just going around again, doing the same thing we were doing before we found that spot, seeing if I can find another spot that we can possibly fish. Right now, we are in about 14, 15 feet of water, which is about that same range for the crib that we found over there. I was doing a little bit of research on this lake before we actually came to it. It did say that there are multiple cribs in this lake. So uh, we're gonna pretty much just go about the same depth as that last one, see if we can come across another one and see if we can find some more crappies on those. 
All right, so we've been trolling around and we just found a little location here, pretty close to shore actually, that's a pretty steep drop off. So we're gonna swing back around, we're gonna go try fishing that and see if we can get into something a little bit bigger this time. All right, so Nick just pulled up on a new spot for us here. We're about 40 feet from shore. We're sitting in about 15 feet of water. This is a very steep drop off. So between here and the shoreline, there should be a lot of fish. We're thinking they're gonna be tucked up on that shoreline because there's just a ton of structure. There's a lot of down trees, logs and stuff like that sticking right out of the water. So this is definitely gonna be a spot that we think there's gonna be a lot of crappies filled in. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna be tossing this plastic right away. I've got the Weston plastic with that black jig head on. This thing looks like it's gonna absolutely tear some lips apart. So we're gonna to toss it in the water here and see if we can get hooked up. All right, this one's gotta be nice. It's either a bass or a real nice crappie. Haven't seen it yet. Oh God, yeah. Come here, dude, dude, that's a giant. Oh, boys, there we go. Oh my God. Come here. Look at this freaking thing. There we go, boys. Pulled this one off of some structure. That is a freaking beast of a crappie. That's got to be pushing 15 inches right there. Oh my Lord. My heart is racing right now. Check that out. We've got that Weston plastic on there with that jig head. Oh my God, he just slapped it. Absolutely crushed that freaking thing. That is fantastic, guys. This is why it's so important to prepare yourselves come late fall to put yourself on big fish like this one, guys. That was a freaking fantastic fight right there. He was dogging me for a little bit. Told Nick, grab the camera. Let me get this out of there. And that's all it takes, right there. Look at that finesse style minnow, just, oh, that presentation is fantastic. Right there, guys. That's what you want. That's what we're looking for. Giant crappies up here in northern Wisconsin. Let's give them a drink. We're gonna take a couple pictures and put this guy back into the water. That is freaking fantastic. All right, boys, one last look. We're gonna get this beauty back into the water. That is an absolute stud crappie. Let's get them back in here. Important to get them back into the water right away. There he goes. That is freaking fantastic. This is most certainly going to be a key point, a key area that we're gonna to wanna to come back to come ice fishing season. There are down trees, there's logs, there's all sorts of timber in here. Any sort of wood that you can find, any sort of deep structure is where you're gonna be finding these crappies and other panfish as well. These areas have all sorts of logs and timber that they relate to so that they feel safe. And come those colder temperatures, once ice hits, this is certainly where we're gonna to wanna to come back and start fishing this drop off. Oh my God, I gotta tighten this up, yeah. Another giant crappie. That's bigger than the last one. Oh my oh, god! Boys! That is freaking huge! Holy Jesus! We're on some freaking slabs right now. Oh my god! He just crushed that thing. That is bigger than the last one. Holy <laughs> Jesus! I can almost put my whole fist in there. Look at that freaking thing. Guys, this is absolutely slaying right now. Come on, get that out of there. Woo, right through the paper lips, boys. That Weston plastic is absolutely tearing these crappies apart. Northern Wisconsin pan fishing, late fall. It's the first week in November. Ice is right around the corner, guys. This is definitely going to be a high key area that we're coming back to. This is insane. Look at that freaking thing. Oh my gosh. That is an absolute giant, boys. Whew, we're tearing them apart today. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get a measurement on this bad boy. Last one was 15 and a quarter. Ooh, this one, let's go ahead here. Oh my goodness, closed lips. Oh my God, almost 15 and three quarters. Almost 16 inches. Okay, so the last one was 15 and a quarter. This one's about 15 and three quarters. This thing's gotta be almost two pounds. Nick just pulled one out of here. That was a 16 and a quarter inch crappie, guys. This is insane. 
there's no way we're not coming back to this spot ice fishing, I'll tell you that. This is amazing. Let's go ahead and get a release on her. That is a beautiful northern Wisconsin crappie. All right, there we go, big girl. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is what fishing is all about. That is happy fishing right there. This is the last spot that we've tried, and it is absolutely producing crazy. Every fish that we're catching right now is within that 13 to 16 inch range, which is insane for crappies. This is another just slab of a crappie. There we go. That is my first of the day. And that's not as big as Brandon's, but that is like a 14 inch crappie, which is respectable to a lot of people in the crappie world. Again, guys, we're just, we're just pounding them on this jig and minnow presentation. That's a nice fish. All right, so I'm gonna get a release on this big girl. Lots of action, lots of kick. Swims off right away, that is awesome. Alrighty guys, there's another one on the Weston plastic. That thing has been absolutely destroying for us today. Another decent crappie, probably about 13, maybe pushing 14 inches. That's another beautiful fish. We're gonna go ahead and get this one back into the water. Probably gonna be the last one for us tonight. Check that out. That is another awesome fish. There she goes. So guys, we went around, we marked a few more key locations and we have that on our electronics. We marked some more fish on our electronics. We definitely have some key points now on this lake that we're gonna wanna come back to come ice fishing season that have a lot of really, really good structure. And that's exactly what you guys are gonna wanna do to prepare yourselves for ice fishing season. The temperatures are dropping, ice fishing is right around the corner. And I'm not kidding when I say that. In less than two weeks, we will be on top of I mean ice well we will be on hard water so you guys are going to make sure to want to come back and check for those videos coming really really soon um, until then we're going to pack everything up here hope you guys really enjoyed today's video another real quick thing that you guys can do is actually take your electronics for ice fishing and vertical jig these fish all you got to do i have my markham inside of this box it's super super simple guys you really just all you got to do is take the transducer and throw it right over the side. If you know you're on top of that deep structure that you guys were looking for on your other electronics or if you look at a topographic map, you'll find that structure that you're looking for in these deeper pockets of the lake. Toss the transducer over the side, you're going to have marks of suspended fish. And use those baits that we were showing you to vertical jig those fish it's gonna help you get on top of fish. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned a few tips that were helpful for you guys today. Until next time, we will see you guys on the hard water. Happy fishing from NB Edits and Carl's Mystery Tackle Box.